Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. That channel is Deb Chanel's 48's World. Yes, it's a family affair always over here at Deb Chanel's 48's World. I want to thank you all for coming to my channel, supporting my channel by your likes, your comments, your subscriptions, uh, and sharing my videos. I really appreciate that and do continue to like, comment, subscribe, and share my videos okay but let's get into the story i'm getting this story straight from bravo tv.com okay anything you want to know about the housewives of real housewives of atlanta marriage medicine or any other um franchise housewives out there on the bravo uh true entertainment section uh, please go over there to bravotv.com and you can catch up on all your salacious stories surrounding the girls of the real housewives or I should say ladies or women of the housewives franchise with Bravo being the executive company and true entertainment backing them up okay but we're getting that's like I said from Bravo they call themselves or their platform the daily dish but all of it's encapsulated or encapsulated under the Bravo True Entertainment um, umbrella. But yes, they're dropping tea on their own sales and their formats uh, on all of their platforms. But I'm going to be strictly talking about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. One in particular, housewife and her husband, okay? We get the article correspondent or journalist by the name of Tamara Palmer okay and um, she gives us a quaint uh, little article cute but yet tale telling <laughs> I must say okay on the preference and reference of who's running the household who's making the shots calling the shots who's bringing home the entire house forget the bacon okay forget the food well how do you used to say i bring home the bacon mm -mm, mm -mm, fry it up in a pan mm -mm, mm -mm. then something else i can't remember but y'all get my drift y'all get where i'm coming from with this tune and as well as the lyrics okay go back in time you can figure it out but anyway we're just saying Candy Burris is bringing home the whole house with the furniture and any other accessories added, okay? And she pretty much, I won't say bought and paid for her husband, but she takes care of him very well. And like I said, when you're the breadwinner, wouldn't that be the same if your husband was the breadwinner, knew all these influential people out there moving and shaking and making that dollar? Okay, yeah, I guess the wife would sit and look pretty and do whatever she can to stay in that position. Okay, uh, saint, what do you call it? Insane, not insane, but sanely, I should say. Okay, so um, basically, Candy is in that driver's seat. She's making uh, the billions, the zillions, uh, gazillion dollars, and she is the breadwinner. So I guess if she wants to say, hubby, come on and marry me, give me babies and be loyal to me i will definitely secure the bag for you as well as our family like i said candy knows a lot of influential people uh todd was a part of um that community but you know he pretty much was i ain't gonna say a gopher or he was basically in the entertainment field but it was during this, um the production that we know of uh, when Real Housewives of Atlanta was forming and Carlos King was executive producer and he used to work behind the scenes with the cameras and the lighting and all of that kind of stuff. Okay. Uh, I won't say he was a nobody and I won't really say he was a gopher, but he was a part of the support staff. Let's put it like that. <laughs> he wasn't really out there in front doing too much of anything. All right. And if it was, it was on a very low scale. But um, when he met Candy Burris, I guess she, uh, she can get the same uh, homage or people paying homage to her where people, a lot of people thought Beyonce upgraded Jay-Z, which I'm like, yeah, she probably taught him uh, from how her father taught her or her dad taught her um, how to claim the corporate letter, how to dress a certain way, what to say, what not to say. Uh, improve on your speech or etiquette when you're around certain people uh, come with it or you know how to say come hard or go home 
uh, and she really put like finessed him in a sense where she changed his look. I definitely can't say I can't really say you know that she changed his mindset or um, how he go and get his money the legal way. But just say she had a very intricate piece and part of the people that she could definitely introduce him to. And as we see from this photo, that was former uh, first lady of the presidency. You remember Barack Obama? Yes, that's Michelle Obama. And you see, could Todd have um, gotten to meet her one day? I don't know. But knowing Candy Burris is not a bad thing. <laughs> okay, that's why I can say when you make friends with Candy, you're loyal to her. Guess what? Dore me starts to fall in your pocket, okay? Now, I'm not going to say she treat all her friends, her staff members the same equally, but I would have to gather to say if you were with her from day one and you had nothing but true, genuine uh, interest in being her friend, first and foremost, instead of just being around her because of the people she knew and that you could prosper from that, she would take care of you, really. And, I, I mean, that's pretty much what friendship does and, and being true and loyal to a particular person. If they feel that you've been with them from day one, you ain't nothing been but uh, true to them, you told them the un necessary truth about them that they probably didn't want to necessarily hear but you were there giving it to them just like you know they're riding and die f dying for you you riding and dying for them like if you acting crazy out in the streets or you thinking you getting above yourself and this that, and third and you have somebody good in your family or if, uh you formed a friendship with um maybe childhood friends and they tell you look uh you acting like this that and the third that's not your character where you getting this uh, craziness from you are this 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 why are you acting like that 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 like that and um you having all these yes people around you that won't you know bruise your ego when it needs to be bruised or tell you the truth when they really telling you a bunch of lies just to stay around you you know if you have friends like that that can look into uh, a picture that you're portraying and call you out on your uh, negative ways then that's a friend to keep for life because they'll be there for you when all the hoopla has left you and you ain't there but alone and maybe destitute because you don't ran through all your money or whatnot they're gonna love you regardless with money without money it's still gonna be the same music that's playing between you all so i'm like okay cool 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 so this is what i'm gathering she has found in her lover her friend her husband todd tucker um basically because i'm telling you mama sharon was still alive i don't think they marriage had a chance <laughs> because between her and mama joyce and the antics they were going on loving on both of their children didn't want they see their children either one of their children's hurt child please because can't know she had her time with miss sharon and you know Todd had his time with mama joyce but you know it is what it is but like i said candy definitely knows a lot of more people influential people that she can definitely introduce todd to hence this title of an article i'm going into because right now i'm already eight minutes in from what my computer's telling me um so we won't get ahead of ourselves and just talk more than what we need to talk <laughs> okay so let's get on into it like i said i'm getting this story from bravo the daily dish and the uh correspondent or journalist who brought out this article on their behalf is uh her name is tamara palmer so let's give her you know a hand a hand clap yep 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 okay and um salute her for giving us something to talk about of a salacious type story okay her article of her title it was brought out to today no i'm sorry yesterday which was the 29th but the article title is candy burrs reflects on the moment todd tucker quits his job <laughs> yes honey yes honey she is like sounding the alarm she was very much approving of him uh leaving his former job which i forgot who it was with <laughs> probably was with bravo because they were or some affiliation with bravo maybe he was a contractor worker at the time or I, I don't know but she allowed and yes i say allowed 
uh, Tara Tucker to quit his job and come on her train, and they basically run it till the, all the wheels fall off. Okay, from what I'm gathering for the little part that I did skim without you all. Okay, but sometimes now with me being on the camera, I can't necessarily uh just go in and all raw like that i need to go on and try to give y'all a little something because we are taping in my sense live like i would be doing but you all wouldn't be seeing me you know go through the antics so i'm trying to like you know make it go as sm smooth and and uh, streamline everything where i can have a clue of what i'm talking about from the article and then it can just feed itself in so i'm really just giving the um top part not i don't delve all into the story and i know what the outcome is gonna be no no not like that but just give me a little edification of what we are talking about okay before i get started with you all and bring you all in but again her article of her title was titled Candy Burris Reflects on the Moment Todd Tucker Quit His Job. Okay. Um, she goes on to say, Jump off this cliff. I got you, babe. Oh, I got you. The Real Housewives of Atlanta mama shared about her marriage to Todd. Okay, it goes in to say Candy Burris and her husband, Todd Tucker, have been sharing insights about their marriage during occasional appearances on a series called Black Love. Anybody familiar with that? Drop it down in them comments because I have no clue. <laughs> None at all, all right? But um, it says earlier this season, the Real Housewives of Atlanta mom revealed some personal details, including admitting that she was first to say, I love you. Well, yeah, Candy, we kind of get that. Most women, when they're head over heels or they felt like they don't found the one and you're so overwhelmed with love, joy in your heart, mm, it can be seen or deemed a little pushy, uh, a little on the spur of the moment. Because at the time when I think you were uh, pushing up to him, basically, um, you had just lost your other fiance. Uh, I want to say not even, it was less than a year, I'm believing. I'm sure people would get in my um, chat section, comment section, and they will give me the true tea on that if I have definitely misled myself in giving y'all out that information. <laughs> as they do and i love it like i said i love it because i can't sit up here and give my opinion don't expect for y'all not give y'all opinion back to me that wouldn't be quite fair and i would it okay but anyway yes uh she, she is first to admit to say that she loved him before he voiced anything and I, that may be a similar thing. Most men that are not in tune with themselves and their feelings and their emotions and just the whole thing, they don't want to be first to be wimping out saying, I love you, in case the, it's not reciprocated in some way. You know, their egos might have gotten a little bruised here and there. So it's not uh, fairly un seen that most women or some women wouldn't say i love you first okay because we just in that nature we just love love to be loving love sometimes <laughs> or wanting to be in love so greatly so deeply but yes candy admits she was the first to say i love you um then it goes on to say um and she later broke down how they worked through any disagreements and a new cameo on the show candy share more about what a supportive force she is in her marriage and in Todd's career endeavors. Okay, so she's pretty much telling us she's running his career. She's picking and choosing the more lucrative uh, pathways he should go to. Not in this article, just, just my sidebar uh, of what he should be partaking of and what he should not be partaking of in the essence of candy burst <laughs> okay but let's get back into the article it said um i'm a person that if i love you and i'm with you all the way in my mind there's nothing that we cannot do together candy said in a clip from the latest episode so i'm always gonna figure out a plan like we can get that uh even though we uh, even though he was definitely making good money. But in my mind, I'm like, well, we'll figure out how to make that. Uh, you'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Jump off this cliff, okay? I'm telling you, I got you. Let's do this. And we did. And an event the first month, 
after he quit his job. So I'm like, men, men who follow me out there, y'all tell me, which y'all would have quit y'all lucrative job that you were making good money on to uh, be rescued in the arms, the safety, security arms of candy birds now this is my sidebar not in this article i'm just trying to make a comparison here or some type of sense out of what candy told Tara he could do because she got him <laughs> i'm like candy girl is your prenup tightly fitted honey because uh i don't know are uh, you making all these plans and then you don't put it on blast that you're pretty much saying you're gonna take care of this brother come what may you got him you know you told him to jump out that big old cliff and that she was going to catch him in all his endeavors and all of his pathways of doing things to make money but then again on the other hand you did say you have other avenues where he can make lucrative money if he just followed your lead okay i got you girl i got you candy because they did say out in them streets i don't know okay i'm just like taking a back seat licking it and taking it out Lynn, that you do take care of your men but i guess if they follow and, and told a line they ain't got no choice but todd don't get in get in your head now you be hanging out with fellas and they telling you how to boss your wife and and this that and the third and and how to tell her what you gonna do and you know your, your fellas getting in your head trying to give you the big head and then you come acting all brand new on candy because candy already told you she wants she was not going to marry you unless you had signed that prenup even though you went over to see an attorney and this that and the third and you wanted this that and this and you know your mama was in your ear and all these other things and mama joyce was in candy's ear and all of these things but one thing that was for certain you and her were not going to be walking down anybody's aisle <laughs> unless that prenup was signed sealed and delivered to the attorney signer and she made that happen so uh you good at following directions todd i guess you should continue on following those directions and you can live a very lucrative secure life so don't let your buddies your friends your homies get in your business when it comes to miss candy burris and her rules and regulations she have mapped out for you or you probably will be probably sitting in this, the poor house someday and not around these lucrative people candy got you surrounded by okay now that's just my pun intended let's get back to the story okay the article at hand it goes on to say, and I might have made damn near a quarter of what I made, I guess, during his own little spiel, what he had at a career. Uh, he made twice that and then some, okay, when he jumped off that cliff and landed in Candy's arm, her safely security arms, and, you know, did what she said to make money. Okay, Todd added, like, for the full year, I made a quarter off my pay off of one event and it didn't even take that much work i was just trying to show him if we put our minds together there's no limit we limit to what we can do like just take the risk let's do this candy concluded hashtag relationship goes anyone <laughs> and i'm like child please that ain't no relationship goes there's a woman telling you what to do how to do it when to do it and where to do it honey that ain't no relationship goes because <laughs> i'm like candy could you not have just let him do what he had to do and just let him make his own money even if you had to just sit up and say okay here go a million Go out there and get you a business. Uh, I'll get you the best marketing people, the distribution center of what you can do to bring your products into fruition. And you go on and do your thing. And I'm going to support you. I'm going to watch you all the way. But I want you to build your own uh, brand and, 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 uh, innovate, and have your own innovative ideas and bring them to fruition. Okay, because I know a lot of people. See, see who I'm with? Michelle Obama, she got strings, okay? She can pull strings for me to put you up in that seat that you need to be, but I need you to make your own way. <laughs> so I can come over to your camp and say, um, is my husband Todd Tucker available? Or can you tell him his wife, uh, Candy Burris Tucker's out here to see him? You know, that type of thing. 
let him have his own building with his own marquee on the outside showing what he can do. Because right now, Todd is going around like your lap dog, your puppy, and you're giving him whatever meat type of sirloin you want to serve up to him just long as just long as he's towing the line now i don't know what that may do to his ego or his manhood that he's pretty much in the grips of whatever you say come what may i don't know what that does to him or how he feels about it but if he has no qualms about it then i'm like go i salute you todd go forth and be great on the candy versus umbrella <laughs> But okay, I had my say on this story that uh, Bravo, the Daily Dish brought out with the help of their correspondent, uh, Tamara, uh, Tamara Palmer, as she titled her article, Candy Burris Reflects on the Moment Todd Tucker Quit His Job. And, and I must add to that and dropped in her security based arms where she could pretty much tell him when to go, how to go, where to go. And make sure he definitely checks in with her from time to time. Okay. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about um, the subject matter. Is Todd Tucker uh, one to definitely continue to toe the line? Or do you think he's going to break camp and start assessing his own ideas of what he can bring to the table? Or he's tired of people talking. You think they're going to have that conversation where he's tired of people talking about can to run him? Can to get him this? Can to get him that? <laughs> Because I'm going to tell you, Candy wasn't too surprised when he went out there and bought her that Rolls Royce, Royce SUV truck. She didn't say like she was like, this is not something I would have wanted to waste my money on, Todd. But since you don't publicize it, I'm not going to, you know, strike you down in public. But we're going to have a conversation about this vehicle, okay? This overpriced vehicle that's going to uh, depreciate as we continue to drive it in this, that, and that. She's probably looking at some form, some shape, some way to get rid of that Rolls worse and make money off of it because <laughs> candy wants businesses she wants like land she wants property where she can like borrow off of it if she had to cars you can't borrow it off of todd so again i can see why candy is so successful she thinks out projects prior to just solidifying herself and just you know signing over everything with a little check here there a little transfer here of the money's going to this entity to that entity so i can see where she coming from but you know sometimes you gotta like throw caution to the wind let love take its place but i know candace a business woman at first at heart because she ain't going back to the pole house <laughs> she ain't going back to the pole house okay she's gonna have assets that she can liquidate if she have to if she need that cold hard cash okay that's the business woman i'm talking about all right get into it but that's all I have for this particular um, commentary I'm doing on this particular piece. So enjoy your weekend. You know I'm still tweaking my equipment. I'm trying out new microphone, little headgear. This shows up on here as yellow, but it's actually orange. So I don't know why my lighting is not picking up my orange little foam I have on my uh, microphone piece but you know that's just me all right but you guys have fun this weekend and you know i'll be back with my articles and 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 um trying to test out my equipment the sound and all of that so i can get it right okay so i can come on here like right and tight and get the singing because i'll always love you Mm -mm. For the rest of my days. Yes, honey. Yes, honey. Yes, yes. I told y'all I'm going to be starting. I'm looking for a drum set in a few minutes. <laughs> so I'm going to be beating out on, on the drums and everything else. Okay? Anything to attain, entertain the fam. Okay? Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all felt about Candy telling Todd Tucker to quit his original job uh, that he was having prior to them meeting. And coming on, getting a hot choo choo train, and them trekking it, and and, and making moves, and, and and shaking, and and just filling up their empire with children and money to boot. Okay, let me know. Let me know. Okay, and I'll see y'all next video. Take care of yourselves. Bye bye.